first and foremost, I'm a dad. I'll just stop right there. That's it. Game over. We're done. <laughs> Great kids. We're out. <laughs> Very short amount of time. I was flying one of the most sophisticated jets on the on the planet. That seemed to be surprising to you. Well, it definitely surprised me. I thought it was unbelievable that I could go from not knowing anything about flying to being an F-15 pilot in 16 months. I was going to figure out how they took a farm boy to a fighter pilot through this process mm -hmm. because I knew that if I could figure out those simple frameworks, uh, I knew it would have a profound effect on a lot of people, and it has. Did you think that that would be exactly what you accomplished? Came out on the other side, a changed person. No, I was just hoping to be a fighter pilot. We look at the leadership characteristics and often wonder, are they nature versus nurture, and which parts of our journey align and affirm or challenge those? I think was really important to me. Mm -hmm. I think there are two. Okay. I knew that I was built from a young man. So if you look at everything that I enjoyed doing, mm -hmm. uh, professionally and recreationally. Actively chasing a goal. Mm -hmm. And usually it was a fairly moving target, if you will. I did <laughs> tell yes, you I was a fighter pilot, it. right? Yeah, yeah that's okay, true. Well. There has to be some kind of ethical and moral compass that exists within you as well. But this is where we're digging deep. Tell me about a time where that's been tested. I get challenged on every turn. As roadblocks happen, you get flat tires, detours occur. It's not always what that high definition destination may have looked like or what you had thought it would be. Once you understand that, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's never a direct line. In a car, you are driving down this road uh -huh. and you have headlights on. So you know you can see 200 feet, but that's all you can see. Mm -hmm. And you are going from here to way over there. You mm -hmm. can't see the whole way. Yeah. Anything can happen in the darkness around you. How do you deal with ambiguity and uncertainty? And how, when you're in that situation, does it make you feel? If I thought I was going to have that situation where the forward projection of my headlights was only 200 uh, feet. After I said a couple of four letter and words. And then I would open, also. I can't turn right. I'm going to have to not, turn right. I would use my cat like reflexes. Awesome. So I'm going to go with that. Preparation is the key to success. And then whatever happens after that, you just got to go with it. There's a lot of people that go into something new and they are very uncomfortable with it because they have never been where they've been. That's before. where a lot of the internal anxiety comes from. And people start to question themselves. And that's where the fear of failure starts to come. So when in. do I cry? Get you now the headlights. We got to okay. get you into the under the hood. Did I tell you I had a puppy? Can't wait for the next question. I'm a huge believer that you can't predict the future, but you can design the one that you want. Mm -hmm. you, you should just do a show. You didn't ask me how I feel about my puppy. <laughs> you are. Certain things in life that you can't control. Yes, that is very true. Some points you've had breakdowns and you've had to have a tow truck come help you. Who has helped you along the way? My peer group, um, family members. But I think almost more than anything, it's... So the other thing that's pretty unique about the life I've lived too is... How would you define success? Hmm. I get a unique perspective on what's working and not working for other business leaders and entrepreneurs and athletes. So where do you find your fulfillment along the way? Okay, well, mic drop. I mean, that wasn't even the end, but we should just end there because that was great. the end. puppy thing that, would be... I was going to close with that. It's not a road analogy, it's not a fighter pilot analogy. I'm trying analogy, to keep but, it... So that's, that's yeah. the Does interview the right here. road but determine the speed at which you go around a corner, or is it the vehicle that you're you know, in? Which of those are you? Are you uh, the road, the vehicle, or the ragged edge? Yeah, that's the thing. The road's pretty important, but you know, I'm going to push the car as hard as I can, mm -hmm. right? At the end of your journey, you're looking back in the rearview mirror. How do you know that you would have lived this life well? Well, I heard a one-star general told me this one time. So there you go. Wow. How's that for Bam. profound? That's it. It's pretty significant. I kind of agree what with What would that. your parting words of advice be on anything? Always have purpose in your life. <laughs> Can we edit this part? Okay. Ready? And we're I'm back. Like, We'll edit this part. Does that mean yes or is that? <laughs> that was a short pause. I took the entry. We're going to have to cut all this. But save it for the bloopers because this is probably fun.